Roger, you've been in the force for a long time. For the sake of the city and to get the media off our backs, we had to let you go. I was never one to follow protocol. <laughs> Detective Roger Davis. Sincerely, F. Pippin. I was planning to kill you in your sleep. Looks like this ought to do. Do you really think you can kill me with that blade? I've mastered the bullet. So we'll see about that. <laughs> Not telling me will get you killed quicker. Fine, it was Fabrizio Pippin. Walk and talk with me. Where is he? He has, a, he has a hideout in the old Lucchetti's theater. Some people are like a coin. Two faces, no value. Fabrizio Pippin, huh? Getting pretty bold. Looks like I'm gonna have to go back to my roots. Who are you? Hey now, that's no way to greet your old friend Fabrizio. Fabrizio? You know, I'm getting a little bit cold out of here. Do you mind if I come in? Sure, be my guest. I always knew you were a generous one. So, what have you come here for? I just brought a little bit of a party gift. I see you got my letter. I did, you know, I've never been one to be much of a poet, but I was quite proud of it. Would you like to see? Thing? Sure, show it. You know, Fabrizio, today it'll be me, Dad, or you. Roger. My aunt once told me there's hell, probably where I'm going, and then there's a place below hell. You fine? You know, chat, now you get to decide. It's me or him. Hope you make the right choice. Any last words, Fabrizio? Uh-oh, spaghetti. Let's 
make this fair. Way. You know, Detective Roger, I always knew it would end this way. 